Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to FTL Multiverse. We're going to be playing, I don't know what. We could play as the Inferno. We've already played as this ship, though. It's the A-type Sun Cruiser ship. Let's do, a, let's do another random. So high. It is the um, Ministry Cruiser. You don't do any damage, except you do have a drone you can shoot at the enemies. You have two weapons, and then you have uh, Zoltan crew members who can't actually attack, and they can only pilot systems and whatnot. Well, we could do all that, or maybe we could play as like, is there any ships that we haven't played as that we should play as? Spider hunter ship, four room teleporter spiders. Look, we've done spiders before. Where's my, um, where's my Sylvan cruiser? I haven't done Sylvan's cruiser yet. Uplifted burst laser. Two power, five shots, has a 12 hit point shield, no shields by default. Can summon a stored and empty beacon at the cost of one fleet boost. Slug repair gel. This could be kind of interesting. Just heavy weapons, but could be very, very cool. Could be very cool. Um, I'm just kind of like, I'm weirdly at the point where I don't really know what to play as. You know what? Brand loyalty. You can at any point in time, 3D print your own guns and weapon mods. You wanna give this one a shot? Hectar ship brand loyalty? Crew move slower in empty rooms, but allied crew take less damage from all sources in them and benefit from stun resistance. Cheaper option for repairs at empty beacons. Let's give this a chance. Brand loyalty. You wanna know why I like it? We can get a lot of just simple lasers, simple cheap lasers that do a lot of damage, and then maybe also um, we don't have to worry so much about, you know, boarding and whatnot. Let's do it. Sure. Start. I got a name crew as well. Configure your challenge level. You want to go extreme? Extreme challenge. We could go extreme challenge. Let's do it. I've never done an extreme challenge run before. Proceed with your mission. Complete pursuit doubled for one jump. Accept the gift. I didn't read what it was. Activate the beacon, and then we will run a salvage mission. Okay. So how does how does the the augment work here? I gotta I gotta figure this out. Hide. Modify a modular weapon. Figure a modular laser. We don't have anything for that. Your ship's upgrades. Currently active boost. Boon of companions. Unique crew, lose no skills when cloned, heal faster. So if we have unique crew, it'll be uh, useful for them. Gotcha. Um, mission report, install labs. How do we, how do we, how do we use the augment? Probably at like an empty beacon, I would have to guess. Sure. Why don't we, why don't we jump ahead? Let's see what happens. Uh, crew, 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 Philippe. Be Das Bolt Zeramar. You can be Place Bool. Lathe. Look, it's not a spider, but. Nah, you, I gotta wait for spiders for you. Brendan Toad can be uh, our tree lizard thing. And then Steven. What should be Moobler? Moobler's here. There you go. Everyone has a spot. Thank you. Um, and then we're gonna have you and you swap, because I would prefer to have you being available for. Um, doing like repairs, I think. Weapons seem less important than dodge chance and shields. Let's get this show on the road. Merchant will not give us stuff for free, but the merchant will allow us to sell stuff if we want. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Carry on, do something aboard the ship. Use an augment, access the store. I'm assuming this like changes every time you you go to the store. Lockdown tech. Applies lockdown on impact. 
fire mod actually seems pretty good for the laser just to maybe be able to kill crew early. Um, but we can't afford anything, so let's keep jumping ahead. So, okay. So if you have a empty beacon, ship is cr crashed, landed. Is this the one that's going to kill one of my crew members? I really hope not. <laughs> Pull closer. Federation carrier. Scrap the ship. Hey, We didn't lose a crew member this time. Uh, do nothing. Okay, so... Lockdown tech could be kind of interesting. Fire tech. I mean, here's how I feel about this. If we just get, like... Oh, close. That's a... That's a fire. If we get, like, five different... Or, sorry, four different modular lasers, we could have one fire, one lockdown, one radiation beam, one something else, and then we could just have different status effects on our different weapons, and I think that could be kind of cool. The ship, it might take a little while to kill things early. That's why I'm kind of hoping that maybe I can go grab that fire module from the store and use that in order to um, much more easily kill crew and destroy ship systems and whatnot. I think that would be very nice. Look for the rebel ship. It's a rebel ship. They have a lot of nastiness here. We'll probably take some damage. That hitting the shield room is basically worst case scenario. Although we luckily were able to uh, dodge the shot from the drone. Laser still hit, but that's okay. Keep that drone offline. Now, I'll admit, one modular we laser weapon is not that good early. But hopefully we'll just be able to buy some new weapons very shortly. Or get weapons for free. You know, we don't have to buy all of our weapons from the, the Hector store. Yeah, I think it would just be very fun to do, thematically speaking. Thus, Bolt says extreme difficulty is no joke. Well, it's also a matter of the ship that we're currently using. You know, if we were using um, a rock ship, I would just be ramming everybody. If we were using the the good, we would have a pre-igniter. If I was boarding, these ships would be dead. You know, we would already, already be in Sector 2 by now. This is a very slow, <laughs> slow way of doing it for now. 14 scrap. We have 57 scrap. Isn't it 60 for shields? 70? Really? Okay, well... I don't want Kira. Or do I? No, because if we do Kira... We're going to want weapons later. We're not going to want the, the one weapon power node thing. Dun, 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 dun. Orchid ship. Hail. Uh, yes, me, that's Orwell. We get 10 scrap. 10 scrap is 10 scrap. I will accept it. And then honestly, for the first sector, I know we, we need a few things, but I'm going to go for... We don't have enough. Never mind. I was going to say we're going to go for shields, but... Maybe instead... We won't. And say that we did. Let's continue jumping. Well, I get... <sighs> It's like, I don't know, because we could we could install the arm for scrap gathering arm, but it probably is in our best interest to save the scrap so we can get shields first, because saving ourselves a lot of extra damage is going to save us a lot of money. Hire a crew member, no. Using Use an augment. Go to, wait, uh, perform a task, repair the hull, use the slug gel. 21 scrap for seven hull. So that's a uh, three to one. It's not that bad, actually. But let's go to the store. So it is a completely different store every time. A missile. 78. Power. Plus two projectiles, plus one power, plus four seconds. Honestly, that seems really good. I think I'm gonna buy it. We'll, we'll, 
we can't mod the weapon unless we can upgrade the weapon, which we can. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna mod. Why it can't? It's, I just have a box on my ship. Pardon me. <laughs> can I throw the the power module at an enemy ship or something? <laughs> I, I just love that I just have a box on the side of my ship. Like I'm a freaking, uh, like I'm the UPS store or something. Hold up. Modify a weapon, laser. Install the power module. Never mind. Okay, so now it fires five shots for three. I basically have an uplifted burst laser. Doesn't seem that bad. Okay. Keep going. They put the arrow upside down, says Gladier. Well, it would... Look, we're in space. There is no up, nor down. See the slaves or take them down? We will take them down and then hopefully get something as a result. They can't even attack me, which is perfect. So they cannot... Um... Is that a fire? No, it's music. Uh, they can't hurt us. Our weapon takes a little bit longer to fire, but it is still fantastic. Does it have fire chance? Literally none. Okay, well, go for like the, I don't know, shields. You guys might as well heal up. You're on shields, everyone. Everyone come here and heal up for a minute. I mean, I think that's kind of the strength of the ship. I, I, I don't know, because I've never played as a ship before, but I think the strength of the ship is that you can just choose the upgrades that you think you're going to need. If you think you're going to need a more laser shots, you can just upgrade your weapon to have more laser shots. If you think you're going to need more fire generation, you can put fire generation on this or something. I think that's the benefit of the ship is that you can kind of slowly, consistently upgrade your weapons as time goes on. Eighteen scrap. I still would love to get another bar of shields, but we'll see. And I will absolutely sell 15 missiles to uh, Sylvan. We will rescue the store. Another ship that has, a, you know, a laser and a drone. But this time I have some extra shots on my module la modular laser. We dodged the shot, which is perfect. And in theory, because we fire more shots, it's more likely for us to pierce enemy shields and take out enemy weapon systems, which I think is going to mean a lot for us. So it's going to be a little bit slower early. You know, a lot of ships here that in uh, FTL Multiverse that have boarding, they're usually very fast and effective at taking down enemy ships. We're not at that point. Hopefully we'll get there. We're gonna be a little bit more brute force than any of those other ships. You know, we're not rocking a uh, a lost sun cruiser or anything like that. But I think we can get pretty strong in this run. At least I hope so. One power for two shots. One power for two shots. Hmm. I mean, I, I, I wish I could buy these because they're extremely efficient weapons. We really don't want to sell the store because I think that's going to be important for us. Uh, so if we're not going to buy anything, which is unfortunate because I would I would love to buy something. I would love to buy like the anti-hull laser, but we have five laser shots right now. That's good enough for quite some time. Yeah, so we're, we're not going to we're not going to do anything. I might buy a little fuel. And by a little, I guess I mean all of it. We're gonna sell missiles to the merchant anyways, but we're gonna need the freaking fuel. You start with a lot less in uh, extreme mode. 30 second shield recharge, huh? Sell, ammo, 15 missiles. Sells for less as well. Still worth doing though. Burst laser mark two, Vulcan. I feel like we're seeing a lot of really strong weapons on this run. Anti-Hull Laser Mark III is also pretty good. Light Laser is also pretty good. But, we can't really afford anything. Even, even selling those missiles, we can't afford anything. 
Hey, Bay's welcome. Heard you were talking about me. Uh, no, I was talking S about you. Something aboard the ship. Augment. Store. Projectiles apply 12 stacks of stun. 12 seconds of stun. Locks down rooms. Plus one shield pierce and 30% breach chance. That seems incredible. Yeah, we'll buy a piercing module. We could buy another module laser. It's a little expensive, but let's just go for the um, piercing. I love that the box is just on the side of my ship. <laughs> and then we'll mod the laser and we'll make it piercing. So now it's pretty good at starting breaches as well. That's a pretty good weapon, honestly. Yeah. Yeah! Now, save the rest of my scrap, because I really want to upgrade shields. I know we also need power, we need a lot of stuff, we need the scrap recovery arm, but we got time. I hope. Laser drone, beam weapon. Let's take out that laser drone. Please dodge. Shields come up. Extremely great timing. Uh, let us live or suffer the wrath of the rebellion. I will ignore your pleas because you're rebels. Yeah, this seems incredible. And in fact, if we find ourselves in a situation with enemy ships that can't hurt us, we should try to kill the crew because with breaching chances, we can just breach O2 and then let them suffocate. It's not ideal. It's a low breach chance, but it is a breach chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go to the exit. How many mod slots per laser? So every uh, modular weapon has one attribute and one status. The attribute we gave this weapon was power, so more shots for more power. The status we gave it was piercing. Status can also be fire? I mean, I don't really know what the difference is between between an attribute and a status, admittedly. But you can only have one of each. You can't have two of one type, one of each type. So it's a rebel fighter, two bars of shields. I mean, your shields don't really matter that much. Your weapon matters. You're going to hit me with the, the hull laser mark, whatever it is. And there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Um... Try to vent as much as we can here. He's gonna eventually get into the shield room, but I don't really care. He's gonna take a lot of damage. It's only two shots, so that's not bad at all. The, the laser weapon here. It must be like a chain. He lived. He made it out, damn it! So, they have breaches. We gotta hit their O2 system next, I think. I heard one breach. And their crew is starting to suffocate. If we can get their crew to not be able to repair stuff, like is what's happening right now, then in theory, they're already dead and we're gonna get whatever their loot is. So our, our crew just take half damage, is that what that is? Because if our crew to just take half damage from everything, that's amazing. Um, we're just gonna wait here. Baze asks, Moob, do you play TTS? Baze Knight keeps trying to get me to play Tabletop Simulator, and I keep trying to get him to play Vermintide. I don't know, Baze, I don't know if you actually installed it or not. <laughs> but it is free. Ah, Vermintide is only four players, though. 
I guess that's true. Yeah, you'd have to pick and you'd have to pick and choose who your best friends are. It's okay. I I, I won't expect you to invite me. <laughs> Can you please, like, suffocate already? We got a Frost Laser Mark 1. No salvage worth doing. Uh, let's go to the store, I guess. You know what's really nice about being able to go to the store whenever you want? You can sell whatever you want. Seems, seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Deployment chance. I don't know what deployment means. So there's fire module. So that's a an attribute. Piercing is a status. You think fire would be a status, but I guess not. Neural mod, you do uh, a lot of stun. We could get another laser, but we can't afford it. So I will just continue on. If I sell the frost, we could get another bar of shields, which is very, very tempting. I mean, five laser shots with the mod laser is pretty good for now. You know... I'm gonna sell the frost. I think I'm a little bit behind as far as ship upgrades though, so I'm gonna get the next bar of shields. That way we can, uh, hopefully, take less damage in combat. And let's jump to the next sector. Liberated or liberated? Oh, I don't know. Um, how about uh, one of these liberations? Anyways, Baze, if you want to play some Vermintide, let me know. If you want to play later tonight, let me know. If you want to play tomorrow, let me know. I'll try to plan around it. I'll try to free up some time for you. Proceed to the Separatist sector, exit hyperspeed, continue, do something on the ship, task, salvage, random team, three fuel. Good. I would like to get one more power, if possible, soon. Distress beacon on the planet, contact them. Infections. We we know nothing about infections. Infection is not biological, we are... I mean, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> so it's a waste of a jump, unfortunately. I, I wish we could have gotten some value out of that, but that's okay. Do 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 do. I am stuck with the Federation, but I'm a soldier. Do nothing. You have a... It looks like a two-shot laser, but I, I don't know. I, I still am not completely up to speed on, on what the weapons are in... FTL Multiverse. That could be a three-shot laser, but hopefully it's two. Regardless, the beam is going to miss. It's three. Well... That's okay. I actually think um, a, it's, it's expensive, but a cloak would be really nice because a cloak would mean that we could um, there we go. We're not going to surrender, or we're not going to accept surrender. A cloak means we could, in theory, uh, get our modular laser charged up faster. Super shield would also be kind of nice for a similar thing. It doesn't matter what we shoot at. Continue. 29 scrap. Let's get a little bit more power. Now we can have the shields online permanently. Zoltan store mantis store distress. Usually the mantis attack you so you can get, you know, free combat out of that. Um, it's like the big space whale. You approach it and you're like, well, actually, you are mantises. I would like to kill you. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's go to the mantis store and try to kill some mantises. Oh, no, it's just a friendly mantis store. Uh, I will... Doc? Haha, <laughs> you fell for the trap. It's not a store, only death. Perfect! You've fallen for my trap. The trap is I want combat. You fool, you foolish fool. All right, well... The only thing we have to worry about here is the bomb, so I actually think maybe we'll go on O2 and try to kill the crew. Um, go into the go into the med bay. Actually, go into the door room for a minute. 
We've got a very low dodge chance, but that's okay. There we go. One breach. Hopefully that's enough. Did you get off my sh Why are you not taking like any damage? Oh, they have respirators, that's why. They still left eventually, but I, I understand now. Mm, I did not open up a breach. We're gonna have to kill Actually, maybe we can kill the crew, because that Mantis is very bad at repairing. It still might be possible to get a crew kill here, crew kill here, especially if their NG boards me like a freaking fool. You fool, you foolish fool. You're gonna get yourself killed. You suffocate at half speed, but actually so do I, weirdly enough. Get out of the room. <laughs> they tried to bomb me as I was in the room with the guy. You know, the guy? The guy. You've ever heard about the guy before, hey. All right, get that repaired. Uh, stay here, keep training. Who's on piloting? Das Bolt is piloting. Tree lizards doing some repairing. I don't know if they're actually better repairing than other races, but... I mean, what else is he gonna do? What ability do the slugs have? Slugs have the ability to uh, see enemy crew. That's why we're seeing the red outlines of enemy crew on, on systems, or on ships, because we don't have uh, sensors. Slugs are also immune to mind control. So if a slug ship has, or if an enemy ship has slugs, you can't mind control them. If you have slugs, they cannot be mind controlled. That is the slug abilities in a nutshell. We good 30 scrap? Yeah, I'll upgrade 5% dodge chance for 25 scrap. Although next scrap is going into scrap recovery arm. Give them the fuel, absolutely. Give me a light laser mark one. You know, that's kind of a perfect weapon just to have one of. We could sell it or we could just power it up just to have a little bit of extra oomph. Intruder on deck. Side with the fugitive or offer up for a bounty. It's a mantis, which is real nice, but I'm gonna offer him up for a bounty. And it was a trap and we're gonna get into some combat, which is totally fine. Uh, you can get into the med bay. We'll open up all these doors. Poor Mantis. He's got no idea. Alright. So, they have like a neural laser and a beam. They cannot hurt us at all. So I'm, we're gonna go straight for their O2 system and hope for a couple of breaches. Two breaches. Uh, if we hit the med bay, I think now we'll actually be able to kill the crew. I'm also curious. Well... Breaching the med bay doesn't accomplish anything. What do we need here? I just need to take out the med bay. I guess we'll we'll fire like three shots and then power it off, see how that works. Well, I killed the mantis. <laughs> it did not start a breach, but maybe we'll get lucky. Although, I think they're gonna repair the O2. I think two mantises can probably do it. No, they're going for the med bay. All right, we're not gonna be able to kill the crew. If we breached the med bay, we could have. But we got 18 scrap out of that. Scrap, scrap. Dun, dun, dun. I like the ship so far, but really it's just the weapon we have is pretty good. 
Help us with killing hostile ship, and we will delay the fleet. Listen to your offer. Rebel ship, auto ship, will you help? Yes. I will kill this ship and you will delay the rebels. Now, the fact that you have a cloak is really annoying. However, I have one shot before you cloak again. So I think we'll be able to make it work. We're going for piloting. We're gonna to try to breach it and stop them from getting away. If they cloak again, they cloak again, but we have to land these five shots. You know, I would have loved to have taken it offline with a breach, but it being in the red is good enough. We got shot once. They can hurt us, but it's more important to destroy the ship than it is to prevent damage here. There we go, perfect. Contact them. Fleet delayed by two jumps. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Separatist hails you, this time looking very similar to you. My job is less than 100%, but it'll work. I have masked your jump signature. They'll follow me. Good luck. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Download the ship's data stores. Yeah, why not? Get a map. Link, one, two, three, four. We'd have to backtrack. Backtracking for a store wouldn't be the end of the world, but I would like to just not have to backtrack. The link, however, would give us the opportunity maybe to do the, um, you know, the, the super, super big final end quest if we get the lucky link option. Um, we could try. Maybe we'll just get like some advanced tech that we could use for uh, super shields or something. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we definitely have enough time. I just don't know, don't know if it's gonna be worth it, but we got a lot of value out of that last combat delaying the rebel fleet, so we'll be fine. Continue, do nothing. They have oxygen, they have a med bay, they have a missile, they have a double shot heavy laser. You know what, just walk in here and fight me. Don't even waste my time. We'll go for weapons first. Uh, yeah, it's kind of what I'm worried about. Luckily, we dodged one of the shots, but since the missile can hit anywhere, we'll take that offline first. Get off of my ship, you human! Admittedly, it does take a long time for our weapons to power up. <laughs> Quite a while, in fact. 13 scrap. More power would be nice, but we got time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we'll go for the link just because it's a, it's, it's the link event. It's something interesting. Uh, 63 scrap, what do we buy? I don't think we need another weapon slot, although I will admit being able to breach would make killing crew more e easy, uh, but we would have to remove the piercing module because then this thing would be able to actually hit and breach. They still pop shield bubbles too. It would also be nice just to use this to keep shields down or something, but... And I, I mean, if we fire fast enough, we can actually get through shields just with this weapon. It's like a little mini... Vulcan. But let's start with what I said we were gonna start with, which is the arm, and please give me, please give me the scrap gatherer. I don't know what the magnetic gatherer does. I, I've never used it before. I could be missing out, it could be amazing. Federation, Federation, please ignore my damage speech processor. I've become broken by the harmony and wish to serve. Will you accept me? Yeah. Oh, thank you, L4673. Sweet. Let's have, um, let's have Baze. Hey, Baze, how you doing? You can be my, my weird NG friend who's gonna go around and repairing stuff on the ship when it gets broken. Okay. 
That's why I didn't accept the crew member earlier from the, the Mantis NG encounter. I'm like, no, I'll just off you up for a bounty. Squadron of NG ships, they seem peaceful. Hail them. Uh, capture the ship. Agree. Added a quest marker. One, two, three, four, five. If I go link back quest exit, I could do it. One, two, three, four. Can I even capture a ship? Dude, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Link. It's a Suzerian. I will attack you and then maybe get a slave. Boarding drone and a boarding mantis. Okay, well, we'll vent you. You just had to go into this room, huh? Okay, well, we will turn on the O2 then. I will open doors except for this one and this one and this one. And I will fight you, you jerk. Although if I um, nano, we'll take less damage, but we'll just do it like this. Now their weapons can't do anything. It's really just this guy. So I think we'll just go on their O2 and try to kill the crew. I didn't open this door. Open these doors, we'll close this door, open this door. Yeah. I know, I know. Just swap positions for a minute. You do have nano form still. All right, weapons are firing. Two breaches means that they should all be dead. We just have to survive at this point, which is pretty, pretty easy. No oxygen in the room. So let's leave. Go heal up real quick. Oh, the breach was repaired. You know what, that makes sense. We have uh, auto breach repair gel or whatever the heck it is. They repaired it! You know, they probably have a repair drone. I'd like you to still, you know, get... Get practicing. Let's heal up real quick. Yeah, they probably have, um... Uh, not slug repair gel, they probably have, um, just a, a drone helping out. There we go. We get a stun bomb. Two power? I don't know if I'm gonna use that for two power, but I like having it. He says, I'm doing dishes, but I'm on the ship. <laughs> you're basically doing dishes on board my ship. You're, you're the janitor. Your job is to clean up everyone else's mess, and I don't mean picking up the garbage, I mean taking out the trash, if you know what I mean. Bay's Knight, Killer NG, robot on the loose with nothing to lose. Yeah! Stun chance 100%, 250, sorry, 25 seconds long. I'm like, could I use that in the light laser in order to... Well, it does five ion damage, huh? Maybe I can kill the crew by ionizing shields and then breaching systems, but I, it doesn't do system damage. It just does hull damage in a breach. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the quest at all, but, you know, let's, let's see. We've already done salvage. Uh, it's a little overkill as far as repair goes, so we'll go to the store. Hull mod. Double damage on systemless rooms, lockdown, and then rad. Okay, well, hold up, hold up. Laser effects, pierces shields and does crew damage. We could just take the rad module and then just kill the crew.
Yeah? Boom, 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 boom. I mean, if it hits four times, it'll kill any crew member that has 100 health. I kind of like it, actually. We would lose um, piercing, but this gives piercing anyways. And it doesn't do any system damage, but if we have to do system damage, we have stun bomb light, which we could use to kill the hull. Can, can you mod weapons in a combat? Let's see. No, you can't mod weapons in a combat. I, I still kind of like it, although I would love to, if I could get another module, modular laser and then have two of them, but I can't afford it because it's 96. I could put it on the missile, but I still can't afford it because I can, I can only get um, 47 scrap by selling this stuff. That, that was our quest, right? Kill the crew? Well, it... I don't know what the quest is. Maybe the quest is just to wound the ship and then have the crew surrender. In which case we would need the the rad. We would not need the rad module because we have to be able to actually, you know, do hull damage. I think it's worth trying though. And then we would This one's not even connected to the ship. Modify a weapon. Configure the module modular laser. Detach modules. Man, don't do that if you don't have enough inventory, huh? Install power? I guess we, we don't have to install power, but we probably should. Then install anti-bio. So let's take a look at this thing. So it does Five shots, no hull damage, no system damage, but it does do a lot of crew damage. And if we have to, I guess we could just use Stun Bomb Light to destroy the ship. It would take a long time, but it would work. Yeah, it would work. It, it will take a long time, but let's give it a shot. I, I don't know what this quest is actually going to be, but let's see. Look at my inventory real quick just to make sure that I have everything that I want. And yeah, we'll just hold on. You know, I'll put you on the ship just for... Just for style points. So, you've come to kill me, then prepare for a battle federation. You remember the NG's orders to capture the ship without destroying it, knowing you have to kill the crew to do so. Hey, I'm smart! And there's... I remember this event. There's only one NG, so one shot will do it. He'll die. He doesn't even have a freaking med bay. Yeah, I did. I think I did this correctly. Tap side of forehead. Also, his weapon really sucks, but now he's dead. Uh, we wait. We get a defense drone Mark III. Oh my god. Yeah, we will be using this once we get a, def a drone control system. We will be using this. That's absurd. Absolutely absurd. Okay, let's go to the exit. I know we still have anti-bio mod laser, but it kind of seems interesting. Agree to the trade? Absolutely, thank you for the reactor. Um, let's jump to the next sector. Abandon or wrecked? Abandon is like pirate, I don't know what wrecked is, but I don't want to go to the edge of the map. I want to have options of getting to exclamation marks that might give me new ships. So we'll go, um. Well, we've been to Abandoned. We've never been to Wrecked. Let's go to Wrecked. Get Wrecked. Continue. Proceed to the Abandoned Sector. Wait, this is not where I wanted to go. <laughs> Melting pot of scavengers from all over the galaxy. <laughs> the Norse says, To be honest, if a ship jumped out of hyperspace next to me with a box attached to their gun port, I'd be freaking out. <laughs> It's a militia ship. We'll contact the guard. Maybe we, maybe because we have NGs, we can get something out of this. Request supplies. Thank you. I don't want to piss him off. We could. Maybe we've been to a wrecked frontier before. I don't know. Let's keep going. 
I like that the piercing module has a negative 0.9 second recharge rate. Massive Meteor. I will help you. Um, I will I will tank the damage. We get nine scrap and a slip scanner. We can use that to map out a future sector for the cost of three fuel. We will probably be selling it, and for 25 scrap, it's barely a profit after tanking the nine damage, but it's still a profit. Eat, die, must not. Um, I'm also realizing I, uh, it's gonna be hard. Wait, they just have Lanius? Oh, okay, well, mod laser and then attack this one. Do it like, um, do it like this. They don't have any weapons aboard their ship. It's just Lanius. So if I'm fast... Oh. I see the problem now. This weapon can't even penetrate shields. <laughs> okay. Well, this'll take a minute, but you know, that's what the stun bomb is for. Might as well just auto fire. We've got a fire somewhere. I don't know where it is. You can check that room. Okay, so take out their shields. Then we can kill the pilot. So we either need a lot of weapon power to hold the stun bomb, or we just need to switch back to uh, piercing instead of uh, rad, because if we can't penetrate shields, this is useless. But we killed them. Pilot, you're just gonna have to st stay there for a minute while we jump. Just jump down. Bam, 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 bam. MV drive. Give them your flight plans or refuse. We will refuse. Now here's the question, can we even get through the shield? I think the answer is no, so we're gonna go back to light stun bomb. And we'll try to uh, stun bomb the shields and, I mean, even if we go back to the modular laser, we can't really do anything. We've gotta stun bomb the shields and then kill the, the ship here, I think. Wow, we're gonna take so much damage from this. I might even stun bomb their freaking weapons. And then where do we want to uh, use the light laser? Has a chance of a breach. Um, I don't know, keep, you know, breach the, breach the weapons, I guess. Boom. Boom. I mean, we're very good at starting breaches, but that's not enough to get the kill here. Although I can, I can stun the enemies in the weapons room when they go in there to get it, the repairing done. I don't think it's worth the number of bombs that would take though. At least we're getting a lot of weapon training on this as well. Wow, you are very slow at getting trained up. When we're done with this combat, we will swap the weapon parts. For sure. It should be enough to kill the crew. Except their surrender, six field, 25 scrap. It's actually a pretty good surrender offer. Stop firing for the love of Newton's third law. Um, I will kill you instead. It's a lot of fuel, it's a lot of scrap. I'd still rather you be dead. We get advanced ventilation. That's not what we're looking for and it sells for less than the slip scanner so we're not gonna keep it even though I really wish you could put the stuff in your inventory. But, you know what? Ah, we can't, we can't get the store, but that's fine. 
modify the weapon. Actually, do we have capacity? Yes, we have the capacity to hold the weapon. So, modify the weapon. Configure it. Configure it. Attach. Continue, 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 continue. Configure it, configure it. Power. Continue, continue, continue. Configure. Configure. Pierce. Continue, continue, continue. Okay. So now we have an actual weapon that can do damage. Again. Thank you. Still, you know, we're, we're learning. We're learning how this stuff works. Oh, I have no pilot. That explains it. Sure, let's um, jump ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can we can figure out the timing in a moment. 112 scrap. I guess what I want to do is maybe try to activate another store, but if we can't, we'll um, maybe go for more shields, engines, maybe find a store and then get a drone control system. Quick scan of your ship's weapons before flying off to pursue the unarmed civilian ship. Attack the pirate. Damn, dirty pirates. Well, um... I, I actually think the light stun bomb is correct because the modular laser would have to fire all five shots to pierce the shields anyways, and this way we can open up with a stun bomb once we're done punching through the super shield. Really. Let's get you in there. I really thought I, I uh, opened the door correctly. What are you? Rockman Outcast. Runs combat faster. You do deal a lot of damage. Let's get the... Uh, let's keep it as is. We could make the NG go in nano form, but I don't think we're gonna need to. Okay, they've retreated. We want to take out their... Actually, I don't... Can they even do damage? If they can't do damage, we don't need to use the bomb. Like, I really wish I could swap to the rad module right now. <laughs> Look at that box jumping around. Um, I guess we'll... Uh, I mean, if their weapons can't do anything... Let's go back to the modular laser. No reason not to. I mean, they, they don't fire the ion fast enough, even if we don't dodge all the shots. Okay, so let's, um, oh, they got a plan. I don't even know if we can kill the crew, but we can certainly try. Really, I was, the weapon actually came online and then it got ionized. Freaking jerks. Actually, you know what? If we can kill the plant, then we can, um... If we kill the plant, then we can, um... Take out their ship extremely quickly. So I'm gonna go full in on anti-plant meta here. It actually worked. Beautiful. It's gonna be like the longest fight of all time. Wait, how did they, oh, how did they get the ion through the shields anyways? Now that I think about it. All right, it's been breached. What's special about the lizard guy? So lizard has a little bit of HP, does more combat damage, less repair, and automatically heals when it's not damaged or when it's not being damaged. So in theory, we can have the lizard uh, automatically repair himself, which is pretty sick. Not really that relevant in a lot of situations, but... Alright, we've killed the crew. We just have to wait now. I guess if I don't have someone on the shield room, the second ion can sneak through. That's the difference. All right, place Bool, please dodge one more shot. If you wouldn't mind. And you know what? While we're here, auto fire the light, get a little bit of uh, combat training happening. And then sit back, relax, stretch. 
and wait for the enemies to die. Dun, 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 dun. You know what? Take a drink. Um... Uh, <laughs> really? And ship? Okay, well, let's and ship. Uh, we got, I'm assuming one is yes. Thank you. Hello, Garrick. <laughs> Garrick the human. Bruce Garrick? I mean, I kind of wanted to say just plain old Garrick, but it doesn't even fit. Uh, you can be the Nor. Hello. The Nor. Actually pretty good at engines, but actually place blue is a little better. So you're gonna be a roving anti-personnel member. We finally have enough crew members to have one. We have 130 scrap. I think at this point we can safely say we can upgrade our ship. Or do some internal upgrades. You know what? We should. We'll do um Med Bay. Well, hold on. Can I look at the medbay upgrades first? No. I have to upgrade them. Or I have to install medbay. So let's install the medbay. Look at the lab. Check out the slugs. Stun resist and better cloning. Boost to combat, sabotage, and repair speed, but lose the ability to sense enemy crew. Allied crew in the same room as your slug gain mind control immunity. Enemy crew in the same room lose mind control immunity. That's very interesting. You could, um, if you know you're going to be... Well, does it negate mind control if they're mind controlled? I don't know. Is this the XCOM stasis or something? Uh, I actually don't, don't even think I really want to upgrade anything here. So I installed the lab... Not for no reason, because we can make, um, you know, Medibot Dispersal or something, which is very good, and so I will do it. And then I will make the... I can't upgrade the weapons. Can I upgrade shields? Yeah, let's upgrade the shields. So we're spending a lot of scrap, just making ourselves slightly better in a couple of different categories. Why not? Finish XCOM asks, place Bool? Yes, barely. Cork says, just a simple tailor. <laughs> 10 fuel. Six missiles with 30 scrap. It's not bad. Do you get anything for destroying the ship? I don't think you do. Um... I'd rather honestly have the fuel, because we're a little low. For some reason, I feel like in multiverse you need more fuel. I don't know if that's actually true, but it feels like it. Lanius. Well, unfortunately, the modular laser uh, breaching isn't really going to matter that much, but it still does a pretty good job taking out their weapons. They're probably going to uh, land the first shots, though, unfortunately. The one shot I needed to dodge, we didn't dodge it. That's okay. Their weapons are getting offline. We'll just uh, auto fire on their. Start on shields. They have to repair the breach before they can repair their weapons. They just repaired the breach. Except their offer? No. They're both going in there to, to repair the breach, huh? I have no way of killing the crew. Wish I did. Wish I did. If we get like another 90 scrap, I wouldn't mind picking up another laser weapon and then attaching the rad module to that one. But it requires us to get the scrap. One is the loneliest number that you ever do. Dock with the ship and draw away the ghosts. Help these ghosts have come for our ship. Please do something. Intruders on board and we get a little bit of scrap. It's not bad. 
Maybe we'll just kill him. Is it, is it, this is why you get the med bay medi bot dispersals, because then you can just kind of sit back, relax, and just not care. Gulp. Sorry, I slurped, slurped my straw. <laughs> oh, yeah. And these enemies uh, do occasionally uh, breach when they're low on health. I kind of hate that they do that after death. You remember that one human who uh, healed his friend with his dying breath? Yeah, that's bullshit. Pardon language, sorry. Store. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Go to the store. Is this the line ship challenge? Line ship? Theoron! Theoron! Welcome, how you doing? Theoron, actually, is what it is. I remember now. The range of ships you see here keeps growing, and it seems wreck full of mad gas beings can be added to the list. It is gassy boys. They're gonna get a missile off. I don't really worry about the flak, it's two shot. But no, it's a charge flak. I hate that you, you timed it perfectly and hit our shield room, which is terrible, but we'll get that repaired. Luckily, we're dodging that missile, though. Okay. Theron says, pick a, sh pick a side, you can only travel on that side. Oh, no, I, um, I, I, I get it. I guess we are doing the challenge, but I thought we had not been to a wrecked sector. I guess we have been to a wrecked sector in the past. I thought we would get, like, a new music unlock or something, but oh well. The battles, the horrors, you have wrought this battle upon us, and now you have come to finish the job. Around us, civilians are dying, and the planets burn, and you would rather fight us than help your own people? Explain to the rebels the battles ended a long time ago. Fight them, or they're crazy. Uh, the battles ended a long time ago. They must have PTSD or something. You talk the captain into joining instead to escape. Oh, yes. Escape the war. Board my ship. Surely there's not going to be anything bad happening aboard this ship. We have nine crew, huh? There you go, Theron. Welcome aboard. You're going to be a new anti-boarding crew member. Um, I would have actually preferred to have gotten scrap, but, you know, lesson learned for the next time we do that encounter. Pirates nowadays. That's a doomed man right there. Audrey, welcome. How are you doing today? Hello. I think I'm going to attack them. We don't actually need anything from the store, so I will attack you. And your weapons are pretty trash, which makes me feel pretty good about this. We can probably kill the crew here. Although you are the annoying one because you actually provide oxygen, so we have to attack you almost directly. not attack their weapon system because their weapons are um, in sync which means they can never do damage I'm just trying to see like how should we do this I guess attacking O2 is still the best right we want to attack O2 and, and medbay and when he goes into repair we want to hit him because we've got to kill him we'll probably have to destroy the ship but we can give it a shot we can try we got one breach Human went for a, uh, a heal. There's two breaches. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to destroy the ship. If we had like mind control or hacking or... Whoa, they both died.
just like straight up died. <laughs> a little surprising. I guess they couldn't, they didn't want to leave the med bay trying to get it repaired, huh? Alright, we'll just not, we'll take him out. That's fine. What do we get? We get 15 scrap and 2 fuel. Man, we are not getting a lot of scrap. Store, 1, 2, 3. Okay, 1, 2, 3 it is. We barely have enough time to do all this. We want to spend 58 scrap on something? Man, it's, I do, I do feel like it's really hard to gain scrap. That worm repair animation is fire. <laughs> Just, it looks like he's cleaning the ground. Uh, never surrender crew to slavers. Missile and double heavy laser. The only thing that can do damage is a missile. It looks like a Lido. Uh, they have no crew members who can uh, give oxygen. Is that two medics? It's one medic. That doesn't matter. Um, are we okay with the laser chewing us up? Not really. That's two breaches. Everyone go back to your rooms, you two repair this. Are we gonna attack the O2 system? I think we're gonna attack the O2 system. They are trying to escape though. We will have to um, probably kill the crew here. Since they still have a pilot. Yeah, jump imminent. Actually, can I even fire shots before they leave? I think I can. Barely. Do we need a crew member? No. At least we killed them, but that was close. Our weapons need to be faster. All right, let's go to the store. 82 scrap. Uh, drone control system. That's what I want. The demons are coming. Are thou prepared? Most probably not. Stock up. Gather your arms and seek shelter before the demons come. Better yet, wander, da wander down to Ol Yathredi's Doomsday and Demon Preparation Center and purchase everything you need to keep yourself safe. Apocalypse not included. Engine disabler. Stick. No. Do something. Task. Salvage. What would, ha what would happen if you summoned a store at a store? I don't know, but I'm just going to do salvage. I've never used a phaser. New store overwrites old store. Hey, cere cerebral, cerebral cloud. Thank you for the knowledge drop. Hmm, what to do? Well, <laughs> we could board. <laughs> that doesn't seem like what we're going to be doing. I never, I've never really utilized the phaser. But in theory, In theory, it could take out shields, as many as we want, but it's, it does seem slow. Tunda Tail, welcome. Is this a mod called Mirth Multiverse? That is correct. The Multiverse mod is uh, extremely large and adds a lot of content to FTL. Can't put that there. Um, I uh, kind of like hacking. Yeah, phaser phaser does one ion damage to 
shields, guaranteed, and then one damage to whatever you target. So if you target shields, it'll do two ion damage. Um, I kind of feel like buying the hacking, because then we can take out enemy O2 medbay or weapons. I would also like backup battery. I would also like to just maybe sell the stun bomb. Hacking's pretty good. Can we get backup battery too? No. I really want this defense drone online. What's with the box? Don't worry about it. I just have a box on the side of my ship. <laughs> I could have three boxes on my ship if I wanted to right now. Um, I just don't want to... I don't want to pull myself too thin across multiple different systems. And I really want drones. But for now, I'll take hacking. I'm also very tempted to grab the signal diluter, but then we can't hold on to the store creator, which I really like. I actually kind of think that's a pretty good augment. So you know what? Um, sure, let's get hacking. And I'm gonna sell the light laser. And I'm gonna buy a backup battery. And I'm gonna buy a little bit of hull repair. There we go, that's what we're gonna do. Sure. What's in the box, man, what's in the box? Attack the pirate. Well, it's another pirate, which is annoying, but the weapons are not absurd. Hey, get out of here. They, they will land some shots. I don't know if this is a two or a three shot frost. It's a two shot frost. They will probably land some shots. You know what we should do is we should probably micro our shield power a little bit. I should have microed my shield power a little bit. I don't know, does that, does that frost weapon, does it, um, Yo, why are there slugs on a Zoltan ship? Is that frost weapon, uh... It doesn't matter. Pure shields? I actually don't think it does. Hmm. I do not think that they will die. I think they will get the stuff repaired. Yeah, they're gonna get it repaired. I guess I could have hacked it at that point, but whatever. 17 scrap plus another 10. It's not bad. Let's jump to the next sector. Monk refuge exclamation mark. Now, I don't remember what I did wrong last time to try to get the ship. I think it was uh, one monk on a desert planet, and I talked to him, and he said goodbye. So I gotta try to remember what I did wrong and try to do it differently this time around. Uh, is there anything that we want to upgrade before we leave? I think the answer is no, although... I think the answer is no. Let's just get out of here. Continue. Proceed to the Monk Refuge. Zoltan monks, and they are peace-loving, so ignore the auto-drone. It does have weapons, but we will ignore the ship. And then, in, as a result, we can... Well, we could use the augment and summon the store, but now we don't have any money, so we will run salvage. We got nothing, but at least we ran salvage. The Great Eye? Oh, that's always a bit of a pain, isn't it? A bit of a risk. I'd rather not. Yo, what the heck? 
choose your doom, I have a wide variety of options. I mean, definitely Mantis. Definitely we want to fight Mantis when the Rift Man is here. Although this ship has a lot of weapon power. Hey, come here. Now we could hack them, like hack their med bay so that when they go in there to heal, we can take them out. But I think just breaching the ship will do what we needed to do. We don't we don't need there to be low oxygen now that I think about it. In fact, that's probably what's going to get me killed. Yeah, we're taking a little bit of damage. Take out their weapons. I, I must not have had this on auto fire. Whatever, two of their crew are, all, all, are already dead. They're not gonna board me. The beam uh, can't do anything now, so we'll just um, take out their O2. That'll do good enough there. We don't even need to hack him at this point. I would like to keep their weapons offline though. I don't I don't want that's exactly what I wanted to avoid. <clears throat> A direct shot on the weapon system. <laughs> I love the box hanging out of my weapons room. <laughs> and we we actually did kill a mantis, surprisingly. We gotta take this guy out at some point. He's still trying to repair the O2. Uh maybe we can. I'm gonna let their weapons stay up for a little bit. Let's just breach this. Well, it didn't get breached, but... Poor Mantis. He thinks he can repair it. <laughs> Good. I actually mind that the bomb's online less than the laser, because the bomb can't do any hull damage. The bomb can just take out systems, but I can just repair that. Oh no, not my battery. What the heck? He actually did get the med bay repaired. What a, what a trooper. What a trooper. Now, unfortunately, if he gets it repaired again, I actually can't do anything. Okay, we got him. Hey, get out of the room. Okay, 78 scrap. I actually would like to save it and maybe summon a store and get another module, modular laser. Contact them, attack the monks, or ignore the monks. We will contact the monks. Hello, this ship is under control of monks. No, it's no longer un owned by monks. We are ghosts. Can you give us some missiles? I will give you 10 missiles. Wait, do, don't you give me a a wraith crew member i really don't want a wraith crew member but if we attack them they'll probably get like three or four missiles off before i can take out their weapon system is that good enough look i'm gonna give you the missiles you're gonna give me casper Periodically, periodically ion systems and stuns nearby crew. That is terrible. But you know what? You're a border. You're an anti-border and you're very high leveled. And you know what? I got a perfect name for this one. Cerebral cerebral cloud, because he's a cloud. He's a he's gas. <laughs> he's a gassy boy. He's a gassy boy. Sure. Can I be terrible, says disposable account. I'll, I'll get you a name, I'll get you a name. We can actually have nine crew, so you can have the next one. But I had to, because he was a freaking cloud. <laughs> so yeah, um, if they, if I can get this dang old uh, drone online, I would like to have the defense drone, then those missiles wouldn't bother me so much. Hail them. Safe travels and the call. Hail them. Hail. 
Hail. Please stop. I've already told you I have nothing to offer. Hail. Do not hail me again. I'm gonna give you one last chance. Hail them one more time. Seven damage! Oh, God. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll repair one. I didn't think it would do that much damage, honestly. I mean, I knew it was gonna hurt me. I just didn't thought, think it would hurt me that bad. An ion and two pike beams. That doesn't seem that bad. Yes, the ship cannot do anything, so we will kill it. Nice shots. Luckily, they can't do any damage. Otherwise, ions can be kind of annoying. Well, then why attack the weapons? I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Three scrap. I mean, that's not worth the like nine hold or seven hold damage we took, but that's okay. Do, 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 do. As the wise Sovi Voltar something space fleas ignore them and continue. If if we ignore them and continue, we don't get anything. So I would much rather attack them, even if they don't try to defend themselves and just kill them. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty positive I've done this and left and they're like, okay, goodbye. I'd rather make, you know, enemies. Although this might take a minute. Might take a little more than a minute, actually. Um, they can teleport, can't they? Hey, Cabbage Boxes, welcome. How are you doing today? Alright, can we take out O2? We can try. No breaches though. And also they don't teleport. Some of the some of the monks teleport, some of the Zoltans don't. I never remember I never remember which is which. But if we can breach the O2, maybe we can kill some crew, but it's gonna be very very difficult because of the fact that they um they cloak, we're not gonna be able to you know, keep their systems offline. I could hack them. Wow, oh, okay. But at this point, I kind of just want to kill them. Be done with it. Just don't fire. Cabbage Boxes says, never seen this game. Surely you have seen me play FTL before. I refuse to believe that you have not seen me play FTL with how much I play FTL. Let them live or continue your attack? Definitely continue my attack. I'm done with these guys. Okay, let's go to the Great Eye. Hopefully that doesn't uh, put me in negative favor of the Great Eye. We get 15 scrap. We will make an offering to the monument and speak to the monument. Oh, good. Fleet delay uh, doubled for two jumps. Fantastic. I just want a store. Uh, oh, it's peaceful. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We might have to attack rebels by the exit, but I think we want to go down and around. Buys us a lot of time to go to a lot of a lot of beacons. One. Well, you know, let's go to one beacon and then we'll we'll figure out what our path is going to be through this. Federation scout. 
We need scrap to repair our engines and the monks here have been useless. Agree to trade. Yeah, let's trade. I could have just paid them off, but I would love to get drone control system. That's what I've been looking for. I will buy it. I will sell the amp drone. And now we need to upgrade it before we can use the defense drone, but that will be incredible for defense. So I'm actually thinking, how much would it cost? One more, one more jump, huh? I'm gonna, gonna repair. And now I'm gonna focus on getting that upgrade. Because the Defense Drone Mark III, it shoots so fast. It might not be as accurate, but it's so damn good. Cabbage Boxes says this reminds me a lot of Crying Suns. The combat in Crying Suns is way different, but the gameplay loop of exploration is roughly similar. You go to different beacons, you get a random event, you roll the bones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is roughly like 75%. I think we'll, we'll, I think we'll try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we can maybe make it. It'll be, yeah, I think we can do all seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's, yeah, okay. Das Bolt says FDL's been around for a little while. Yeah, actually, absolutely. The wreck of a peacekeeper ship drifts nearby. Don't we get like a super cool two power Zoltan by pulling the live pot aboard? Yeah, give us a quest as well. A mercenary hired by the Duskbringer showed up and obliterated our ship. Maybe, maybe you have to um, get the other option, like scrap the ship to get another ship, but like, this guy is incredible. He's a fantastic dude. He provides two power. Uh, well, it doesn't fit, so we'll just do that. Yeah, it's guaranteed to be this guy. Although, I, I don't know if he gives us the quest. I don't know how, I don't know what the quest is for, um... Got a lot of crew. I don't know what the quest is for getting the ship in the sector. The weight was worth it disp. Yeah, now we have someone who's clearly not disposable, although if we give them four power instead of two, they'll go down to like 45 HP. <laughs> I've done that before on a run. Make the Zoltans uh, provide a lot of power and then they die. Do something aboard the ship. And as soon as I spend my scrap, we get the ability to uh, like create a store, which we don't really want. But you might as well, right? Yeah, we can't really do anything about this. Although, you know, I can't afford the power module. I was gonna say I could buy this and hold on to it for later. A power module, and then if we get another module, modular laser, then the power module would be worth quite a bit, but I'd rather have another laser than a power module not doing anything, I think. And then a lockdown module would be cool as well, but... And I could sell rad module for seven scrap. You know what? I've changed the color of the box on the side of my ship. Follow the ship. Continue. Last minute checkups. Uh, do nothing. Oh, Jesus. Well. I'm gonna send you up there. Casper, the very unfriendly ghost, if he gets shot, he's gonna charge his, like, internal ionization, but we should be totally fine. Did that land? Yeah, it landed. Um, get in there and get that stuff repaired then. They got their weapons. As soon as we breach their weapons, we'll breach their O2 and then that should be good enough. We could, we can't hack. Let's say maybe we could hack them, but not quite. All right, get that repaired. 
This is why I really want to get that defense drone online now. That's like the next thing. That also did not actually... Um, that did not cause a breach. So they are going to get some stuff repaired. But I'm going to go on O2 anyways. Should I? Uh, yeah, stop shooting me. I don't want to take any more damage. There, okay. One breach is all I need. Because that might be enough to actually, like, kill the crew. Stop following my units. Hopefully they run out of O2 in the room that I just breached. We'll see. If they get the missile launcher online, I will try to kill them. Okay, well, you know what I said. WTF is Defense 3 drone. Fires really damn fast is what it is. And I'm really hopeful we'll get it powered up. One, two, three, four. We're going to have to fight at the exit. I, I mistimed it. I don't care. One, two, three, four. You know what? If we have to fight at the exit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You might as well go to the store, right? Let's go to the store. Uh, continue. Rounded are several monks collecting their pension as part of the clergy. One of the ships trying to hail you. Uh, respond. I will give you 15 scrap, and it delays the fleet by two jumps. Hey, hey, hey! You know, is that worth it? I, I mean, in theory, maybe. Torch beam. Oh man, that's so good. Repair bot dispersal. Yo, isn't that an absurdly amazing augmentation that gives you free hull repair and only only requires power? I remember having this. This was this was incredible. We don't need it, but it is incredible. Uh, we have no scrap and we can't buy anything, so we are going to leave. But at least we did delay the rebels, which means we can get to the exit. We found you, you're not getting away this time. Hail them. Reconciliation. True progress. Continue. Do nothing. Do we need to hack them? No. Their weapons are not that bad. Well, okay, we did take a little bit of damage. That should be all the damage we take, though. Uh, although we need to get our... Yeah, that should be the only damage we take, I think. Man, they love boarding me in these bad rooms, huh? Hey, guys. Does this count as uh, peaceful when I'm killing their crew? I kind of like the layout of the ship. I keep forgetting that there's a uh, way of venting the med bay. There's a lot of uh, a lot of venting places on the ship. There's actually eight. It's quite good. They got a clone bay. They'll be fine. <laughs> They're also not even bothering repairing it anymore. I guess they're all wounded at this point. The crew's very strong. Spare them. Continue. So, like, I... Hold on. Cerebral Cloud said the peace quest is what you're looking for. We don't get a crew from this quest, though. No, sorry, we don't get a ship from this quest. I thought the exclamation mark meant that there's a ship quest here. Do we have to get the Envoy to get the ship or something? Because I really want the Zoltan Super Shield. 
This is the quest for the monk cruiser? Do you have to take the envoy? You already got it. Yeah, but why is the exclamation mark there then? On the on the sector description. Is it I think that means there's another ship here in the sector to unlock. Because I really want the Zoltan shield. Hey, wait a minute, you're supposed to be friends now. You jerks. They're still aboard my ship! Get off of my ship, you jerks! It just means that the sector is unique. I don't think that's true. I think it means that there's a ship to unlock. I mean, you would know. You're actually, like, very knowledgeable about the multiverse. About all of the multiverses. I didn't, like, I didn't... I don't... Is that what that means? It's just unique? I thought it me meant that there is an unlock here. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. Do, 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 do. The nebula is... Though the nebula is still present at the beacon, you can't help but notice strange readings from the moon. A oh, land? I think this is it. I think this is the guy who we might be able to get his ship. This is the quest that I had previously that I failed too. There's an unlock, you just already got it. No, I think this is the unlock. The Zoltan kneeling at a at a grave. I'm like, hold, now I have to like, I really want to prove to you that I'm not stupid. So I'm like, FTL multiverse ship unlocks wiki. <laughs> and I'm like, Zoltan. Zoltan. Um. Maybe not. Maybe this is just an event because it doesn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're okay. Terror. No, we did the terrorist cruiser one. Look, I don't know what I'm doing. Um. Rob his ship, ask what's wrong, take no chances, kill him. Uh, I will ask him what's wrong. The Federation uh, d doesn't mention the Zoltan sacrifices. Leave some scrap as an offering on one of the graves. Apologize for the Federation's mistakes. Apologize. We have scrap. All right, so we've done two out of the four. <laughs> Two left to go to figure out if there's actually something here. An Amantis store. Oh, goody. Rubs hands together. Amantis. Approach the corpse. This is the one that we can fight. Do we want to fight the Mantis? Yes, we have no scrap. Now that you mention it. They have so many lasers. Oh my lord. Well, uh, on the bright side... We can at least slow you down a little bit. And if we can lock the mantises in here with you, maybe we can stop them from actually getting anything repaired. You being the, the breach. I don't know why I'm personalizing the breach. Ladies and gentlemen, into the breach. Into the breach, baby! They're very hurt. Man, they're gonna die. And you're dead. Um, I guess we'll, uh, we'll smack you. Oh yeah, you are, you are absolutely dead. Actually, you're gonna make it out, but that's fine. Why do you have only one weapon? He has two, don't undersell the box, says Claydare. <laughs> This box is providing me with so much power, man. It's the power mod box. Yeah. Power box. He's been spending all of his scrap on weapon mods. Look, buying the rad weapon mod allowed us to kill the ship. And then I bought weapon mods for this weapon because it was my only weapon. What am I supposed to do about that? Get more weapons? Okay, I'll try. We get cat. Dismiss. 
58 scrap. Let's go to the exit. What does the box even do? Um, if I get three boxes, I can activate my trump card and instantly kill the rebel flagship. Believe it. Explore. Yes. Coalition ship. Oh my lord. Not expecting you at all. Um. We need to hack them. What do they have? They have a slug, a mantis, a rock, and a. And one of you. Isn't that with four? <laughs> well, I have to have at least one weapon. <laughs> trying to think. Their weapons don't really bother me. It's a chain flak, I think. No, the weapon does bother me. We should go after. Like, we should do it in order. Weapon, and they're, they're gonna board me with the teleport, too. Okay, we'll do weapons, then O2, then, actually, probably weapons, cloak, then O2. He stunned my crew. What a jerk. Please get off of my ship. Already I want you off of my ship. Get off of my, you're gonna ionize my defense drones. That's rude. Okay, they retreated. Don't need that to be powered up. Everyone, I will go back slash stay in your room. Need to take out the O2. We also need to take out the weapons some more. Let's go for weapons first. Because I think this is gonna kill some of their crew. No, it didn't, but it did start another breach. They're gonna board me again. They're also going to mind control in about a half second. There he goes. <laughs> But we killed one of their crew, so let us keep him dead forever. Now I don't want to take out their weapons for a second. You went into my piloting room to attack my pilot, damn it. Get out of there. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. They're not boarding me anymore, which is very unfortunate. Take out, oh, you know what, you heal. So you're actually at full health right now. Take out the, uh... Take out the O2. It's a little, little rough on the shots, but that's okay. What did we hack? We hacked Clone Bay, so their weapons are still online. Is their weapon off? No, it's just a flak. It's a really bad flak though, isn't it? I think it is. It took my weapon offline. I mean, that's like worst case scenario and it happened, so I have to uh, just acknowledge that that's my own uh, hubris at play right there. We're gonna take even more damage as a result of trying to uh, be clever about this killing the crew. Take a little more damage. It's not worth it at this point. Connie says, "Didn't you already play as a ship, or am I, I just tripping?" I, I don't. I've never played as a ship. We played as the good, which was yellow, um, but that ship had a uh, weapon pre-igniter. This ship is way worse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Get out of the room. Are you healing? You do heal while you're mind controlled. That's actually, I mean, that's a good reason just to have uh, the Medibot dispersal right there. The ability to um, just keep your crew members slightly alive. While they're, they're mind controlled. Well, we got 28 scrap, but you know, we still took a lot of damage. We took like six damage, which is not smart. Uh, 98 scrap in the tank. There you go. Defense drone is now online. 